Hi, this is Annie, and today I will be making mong jello. This is a really easy snack, and I hope you continue watching if you want to learn how to make it. This only requires a few ingredients. You can get all the list of measurements and recipe ingredients on my blog. We'll put some water in a stainless steel pot over medium heat and add the coconut milk to it. We'll add some sugar to make it sweet. And we want to leave this on the stove and stir it on medium heat, but try not to boil it. We just want to stir it for like about a minute so that the sugar um, gets the opportunity to melt. I have five egg yolks that I'm going to slowly add to the liquid. Make sure that the temperature is not boiling because if it boils you're going to have scrambled eggs. You just want to have it warm, but not too hot. Then I'm adding the gelatin in carefully. You can do this in little chunks. I'm just slowly adding it to the top um, because I don't want it to actually just clump all together. And we want to stir that until all the gelatin has been dissolved. I just strained my liquid through a sieve just to make sure I got any lumps out. Next, we're going to divide this liquid into three equal parts. In this recipe, I actually took two cups of the liquid and separated that into three different bowls. In this bowl, I'm adding green food coloring. I'm using powder food coloring, but you could use liquid or gel. And you can change the colors to anything you like. In another bowl, I'm actually adding red food coloring. In a chilled container, I'm adding the first layer, which is the green. Now we'll be adding the red layer.
Now that all three layers are solid, I'm taking a knife and cutting it into small finger sized pieces. You can use molds or anything you like to shape them into anything that you would like to eat. Here's a piece of my mong jello. It's very pretty and flexible and very yummy. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave me a comment below or leave me a message on my blog at anniewang.com.